the warm extra. Here's a toast. Me and my ratchet nails to five years as a histotech. Welcome to this video, you guys. This is a very special video I'm doing today. I am breaking down my five years as a histotech. I celebrated five years on September the 11th, and I decided to do something a little bit different today. I decided to break down each year and actually go over with you guys everything that I've learned in these past five years my experience, my journey, life as a histotech, what I've learned, the techs that I've met, my co-workers, the labs that I worked at, everything that I now understand made me the tech that I am today. And if this sounds like something that you guys are interested in, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, turn your post notifications bell so you guys know each and every time I upload a video. And let's go ahead and get into year one. So, a win for me equals a win for you guys. The reason why I say that is because I am not on this journey alone. Yes, I've just made five years, but the five years have not been easy. Nothing that is hard will come easy. So that's why I'm super duper happy that I got you guys on this journey along with me and I am also with you guys. Year one, I had to realize that I am still new. I am still fresh. I am still learning. That's really, really important that I would like for you guys to understand. Whenever you are caught up in the moment, the only thing you can think about is school, and then you think about passing the ASCP, and then you're thinking about where am I going to work. So year one, my first year in histology was definitely me focusing on how to cut better, than what school taught me, how to embed better than what school taught me, taught me, and how to just be comfortable in a lab setting. So to sum up year one, I had to realize that I was not going to know everything. I'm fresh, I'm new, I am still learning, and that is okay. And I want you guys to know that that is okay. Year one is your time for study. Year one is your time for mistakes. Year one is your time for correction. Year one is your time for learning um, how to perfect your technique because in school, because school goes, you're doing this, you're doing this, you're so fast, everything's so fast paced. You, you are in a whole different world. So whenever you hit the lab door, it is about you slowing down just a tad so you can be able to make sure that you do not make more mistakes because making more mistakes equal you having to recut that slide, re-embed that block, um, repeat that stain. And that is something that you want to make sure that you focus on in your first year as a histotech, not comparing yourself to tenured histotechs, but making sure that you do your best on your job in your first year. Let's go ahead and focus on year two. Y'all, I'm super pumped. I made five years as a histotech. Yo, okay. Y'all gonna be pumped too, especially when you get your first job. And you're like, damn, I can't believe, you know, I'm doing this. It's like, it is not for everybody. So kudos to you guys in histology school. I'm proud of you guys. So keep doing what you're doing. And if you are finding value, out of this content so far go ahead and smash that like button okay all right so let's go ahead and go on to year two the things that were important to me in year two was to make sure that I celebrate the small wins in year two I had already pretty much um, gotten the flow of the first lab that I was at but I wanted to do a little bit more because new histotech you sort of get left behind because um, the more tenured histotechs are cutting so fast um, they're doing things a little bit more faster than you and you are literally just like trying to catch up and um, you want to learn new things and you want to be trusted with new responsibilities so in year two I made sure that I focus on the fact that okay I was getting along with people at the lab. I was learning um, the protocol, the daily flow of the lab, but I did want something a little bit more. I wanted to be able to cut more blocks. I wanted to be able to um, learn modes and frozens. 
um, just to advance myself because I wasn't very confident in, at embedding. I'm not going to even lie. I was not confident in embedding um, because by the time I got to work, I was doing most of the cutting. So I was missing out on some very key components um, whenever it came to embedding. So that's why in year two, year two was one of my most critical years for me. Year two was me uh, making sure that I was taking on a little bit more responsibility, showing a little bit more assertiveness, getting the practice that I needed and putting myself first as far as like, hey, I'm going to jump in the only way that I can succeed is if I fail, but I need to do this. I need you guys to show me. I need to be able to do it by myself because I work best whenever I'm doing things hands on. We'll be doing another Q&A soon, so look out for that. If you got any questions or comments, continue to leave those underneath my videos. And even though I do get to you guys comments, I still like to feature those in my Q&A because it may be a question that someone else may have and I've already answered it. But I will say, check out the playlist of all of my Q&A, histology Q&A that I got here on my channel because you probably will get your um, your question answered in those Q&As. But year three was at that pivotal point in my life to where um, I, ha I had already worked at two labs. I had a little bit of experience. A lot of you guys asked me when should I travel or how I know, you know that it's okay to travel. And I had gotten two and a half years underneath my belt before I started to travel. I think that's the perfect time. Some people can do a year, but I want to make sure that I was well-rounded as a tech, ready to be around other histo techs. Um, I had um, been like the only tech in my last lab and then but the lab before, that's the year one, um, it was very, it was my learning stage. So year one is definitely your learning stage. But year three is when I knew I was ready to hit the road and travel and see what the travel life was about. So Year four, I started this channel um, for you guys and for myself because I wanted to start a community of histotechs, new students, um, travelers, um, other histotechs, people who are thinking about becoming a histotech, who's been thinking about it, but they wasn't really sure. There wasn't enough information on YouTube or online about the program i am so relatable i want you guys to feel comfortable on your journey as becoming a histotech because a lot of people don't even know that this career exists and if i can do it definitely you guys can do it so year four was definitely a transition period for me you guys inspire me every day like i said like you inspire me to do these videos and without you guys i would not be successful in this youtube channel and we continue to grow every single day and let me see i think that's pretty much it because now we are as of what two days ago we are at year five so as i raise my glass to year five i just want to tell you guys that this has been a beautiful journey Growing this channel with you guys, having someone that I can relate to um, when it comes to histology, having um, you guys as my family, the gang, um, for whatever reason you guys follow me for, whether it's for my travel videos or whether it's for um, if you think about starting a YouTube. Um, but I just really want to say thank you for supporting me. I just want to say thank you for all the kind messages. Um, it really makes me feel good that I am motivating you guys um, in this career path. And like I said before, like this is the reason why I know that I'm meant to do this. And this makes me feel good. And I just want to say thank you to you guys. It has been a great five years. And let's hope we make it another five years, right? As long as you know that one, you love what you do. You put patient care first. And you know you're going to be the best histotech that you can possibly be then you will definitely go far in this career or thing don't forget to join the gang and i will see you guys in the lab goodbye